What is going on? Shrimp keepers, fish keepers, shrimp fam, fish fam. Um, hope you guys are having a great weekend. It is Sunday. Uh, I just got back from a fish auction, which was a lot of fun. I spent a little bit too much money, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and we, we've all been there. I overpaid for uh, some Java moss, which, you know, definitely happens from time to time. I forgot to get the chat set up. So let me do that real quick and see all, who all is in here. I know I saw Nisi in here for sure. She said she was driving uh, amongst some others that were here as well. So thank you guys for tuning in on your Sunday. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it and not doing uh, anything too crazy. But Sundays are always a good day. It's like the end of the weekend. So like you're not out like having a good time. Like you're just at home, uh, usually with the family relaxing. So it's definitely a good day. But uh, shout out to everybody here. We got uh, Snow Snow <laughs> in the house uh, dropping some spam. So let's do this. There we go. Okay. So you always got to have the, the few trolls here. Um, so anyway, we got Stormy in the house. Emma, what's going on? Uh, Dank Tanks, huge shout out, number one comment. So shout out to Dank Tanks for being first one here. Uh, Nisi was really close. She said, yay for a live stream. Um, I've been slacking on live streams lately, which I really want to start doing more of them just because I enjoy them. And it's kind of like, really, it's like a stress relief for me. I just get to sit here. Um, you know, it's relaxing, not do too much, just kind of hang out with you guys and talk shrimp. So that is my plan for tonight. But we're not talking shrimp because of the new change that we have, which kind of gives it away, but you're going to have to stay around for a little bit to find out what the actual change is. But Evan rules in the house, dang tanks, uh, Buster. We got a lot of people here. Kenneth, Ben, what's going on, Kenneth, Ben? Uh, Hugo's here. Uh, Ken Lee, my man, King is always here. Shout out to King. Um, so a lot of great people in the house. Thank you guys all again for coming in on, um, basically your sunday some of you it's your monday um jordan leroy said oh what did you get at the auction love diesel or flip aquatics you love that job man so yeah so i bought a ton of java moss uh you guys are gonna laugh at me i bought six bags and spent 52 dollars <laughs> so yep uh overpaid on some java moss but everybody knows i'm there when java moss is going for you know 15 dollars a bag 10 dollars a bag so all kinds of stuff but anyway, so we do have a couple things going on. Uh, tomorrow, oh no, Tuesday, I'm doing the video on the caridinas we got in. We're also releasing some of the new caridinas and other species of shrimp on the website. Uh, that's coming out on Tuesday. And we have a lot of new stuff coming to the website. Like, it's ridiculous. And, and a lot of that has to go with this new thing that we're talking about today. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, what else is going on? Um, I don't really know. I know Jeff's really excited. He's got some new projects coming up. Uh, the other thing, we do have a big sale. Um, hopefully, if there is no sound for you, because some people said there's no sound, just refresh it, because there is definitely sound. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure. I mean, I can listen. Let me see. This is how you tell for sure. Yes. Okay. So we do have sound. Okay. Very good. But anyway, so we got sashimi whiskey in the house. My man Jimmy's here. What's going on, Jimmy? Um, glad to see you here. Jimmy was actually live streaming today. He did a live stream on editing pictures, and I was listening to that while I was driving. It was some good information. So definitely check out sashimi whiskey. He's the one that works for uh, Corey at Aquarium Co-op, and he has the channel Jimmy of Aquarium Co-op, so it's really cool. But anyway, guys, so... Uh, we are having a sale this weekend. We try to do a special every live stream, but I've been missing it lately. But we are getting back on track. And uh, this week's special, if you guys are signed up on the newsletter that goes out every week, then you would have already known this. But if you're not, it's okay. Uh, the special this week is we are giving away one free Shrimp King uh, type of food with any order of a Shrimp Starter Pack. And basically what that means is a Shrimp Starter Pack it comes with anywhere between 10 to 20 shrimp, um, and it's Caradina shrimp. You can get crystals. You can get Taiwan bees. Um, you can get uh, tigers. You can get pretty much everything, all your Neo Caradinas, your cherry shrimp, uh, things like that. It comes with a, a telescopic shrimp net. 
It comes with Indian almond leaves, and it comes with about a three to six month supply of food. I forget which one it is, but it's a good shrimp starter pack. And basically what it is, is you use the discount code. It's a free SK, which stands for free shrimp king. Uh, it's all capital letters. All that stuff is down below. And uh, for any sale of a shrimp starter pack, you literally just pick what type of shrimp king food you want. You add to your cart, you put in that coupon, and you get the uh, shrimp king for free. And it's our way of really getting people um, trying different types of shrimp king food and really just trying shrimp king food because we have been so convinced by it lately and how much it's benefited um, our shrimp room and how our shrimp do and how they survive and the success rates and all that. So we really, really, really want to get people trying shrimp king food because we believe it really is a great product and chris luca if you n never met this guy like he is the most awesome genuine guy i've ever met and so i always love supporting him and so that's what it is again if you guys do not have audio um you can hit the refresh button so there's there's a couple people that have no audio but anyway a lot of people do i know i have audio so it should be good, um, but anyway, so our big plan for this weekend uh, or for this coming week, we, we redid something this week and we spent a lot of time doing it. We set up a rack with, what is it? I think it's 28 10 gallons, and here's what we're doing with it. It's kind of a two-part thing. Um, Rob, you should make gift cards for Stormy. Yeah, so Stormy, I am definitely going to hook you up. Stormy already knows that, though. So. She doesn't need gift cards. She's already getting the hookup. Uh, but anyway, I get I always get distracted by the, the chat. Let me move it to the other screen. There we go. Okay, so the big thing we're adding on this week is we are actually um, going to be carrying nano fish, which is extremely exciting for me. It's something that I've been talking about for a long time. Like, if you guys have been following this channel for any, for about the last six months, and you would have known this or longer. Uh, we have, I've been wanting to do nano fish forever and it's because, um, you know, I love shrimp and shrimp are like the best thing ever. I'm totally addicted to shrimp, but I also love fish and I haven't really been able to enjoy them the past three years because I've been focused so much on shrimp. And so it's something I really want to add just for, for me and also to start educating people on what fish can be kept with shrimp and uh, do some experiments here on the YouTube channel. And I really kind of walk you guys through the whole process of adding fish into shrimp tanks and what the right way to do it and things like that. And some fish that you can just add right in and have no problems. And so we're going to start carrying um, probably about maybe 15 to 20 different species of fish, um, potentially more, just depending on what we can get our hands on. And so it's going to be really exciting. And uh, the nice thing is we import. So we can actually go direct to the source and import some fish directly to us. Um, because we are getting very familiar with the quarantine process, uh, what it takes to make sure fish are healthy, shrimp are healthy, um, the things to check for. And um, I have a lot of great mentors in my life that really know how to already do this um, as far as the shrimp go or as, as far as fish go. And so they can kind of walk us through some of the differences between shrimp and fish. And uh, we've already kind of tested some things out. So really, really excited. And so you will be seeing uh, some fish on flipaquatics.com here in the near future and also a lot more videos on fish as well uh, mainly pertain to how they go with shrimp and kind of mixing the two together and everything like that so it is going to be um, a fun series for me it's going to be a, a, hopefully a fun series for you guys as well but i'm really looking forward to it and the nice thing is jeff uh jeff is if you guys aren't familiar with jeff uh, he is he used to be my intern and then he became an employee for flip aquatics and uh, he has just been such a huge help. And one of his biggest passions are fish. And uh, he like, he loves the shrimp and has some shrimp tanks at home, but he really, really enjoys fish. And so it would be nice to kind of give him a project and kind of just let him breed some stuff. And I know his family does really good with killifish. They, they do a lot of endlers, things like that. And so they're breeding a lot of stuff. And so to be able to support him by not buying his fish and selling them through the website and also letting him breed fish at the warehouse it kind of expands his fish room uh, because he's limited to the amount of tanks that he can have. So to have, you know, what is it, 24 or 28 tanks at the warehouse uh, where he can kind of mess with fish and have fun with that, I think it's really going to be cool. So really excited about that. Um, Maverick is thinking about getting some shrimp for your birthday. You definitely should. 
and uh and, and no better time than now to get it because we have that special going but i'm sure there'll be some other specials if you miss out on this one uh, we're always trying to come up with new ideas um new things to give away different things like that uh just to kind of you know give other people some options too but yeah so this special is decent i i'm i love the shrimp king food you can see we feed it to our our shrimp i, I keep wanting to say fish because i'm on a fish kick but uh, i'm really excited to show off the new fish rack um and i think it's going to be a fun thing for us but the other thing is with fish uh, we, we needed fish food and it's something I've never carried in my life. I, I've never had to carry fish food because we've already, always been centered around shrimp. So uh, we are bringing on a type of fish food just mainly so that I could save money uh, by feeding the fish. And I wanted to feed them something that's really good for them and things like that. Um, we really want to feed a high quality food. So I didn't just want to buy, you know, huge 25 pound bag of flake food. And that's what the fish get. I really wanted to give them um, something that is quality and and that's the same way that I go with the shrimps so That's why you see me feeding um, Shrimp King complete and things like that is because I really want to give them the best um, Nutrition the best product the best thing that's gonna make them healthy and sustain and uh, live and be healthy for you guys And so we decided to go with Northfin. Um, I know uh, Jay Marshall Is it Jay Marshall or no Jay Wilson Jay Wilson on YouTube? Uh, really supports the um, the North and that's how I originally got into it and so uh, we decided to carry it on our own website as well here in the the near future we'll probably have it up next weekend or something like that and so I'm really excited to start selling that as well uh, because it just goes hand in hand with the fish and it really uh, enables us to feed high quality food so let me see if you guys have any questions um, again there's just a lot of big stuff going on and uh, it's it's an exciting time to be a part of Flip Aquatics. It really, really is. Um, Gilson says, I still have no audio. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, YouTube must be acting up or something like that uh, because there's definitely audio coming through. I can hear it on my end. And, uh, and a lot more people would be complaining. Um, so a lot of people are asking uh, what type of fish we're going to keep. And it's still up in the air, but some of the fish that like I know that I really, really want or like uh, different types of otocyclists or autocyclists, however people want to say them. Um, those are just great fish to go in with uh, shrimp. Um, different types of quarries like the herbrosis and pygmaeus. Um, different types of rasbora. I know we wanted to like celestial pearl danios, um, explanation point rasboras, chili rasboras, um, dario dario, you know. A lot of stuff like that. So I am super excited. Uh, Amanda is super excited because Nano Fish are like her passion. And then uh, and then Jeff's really excited because he's the one that gets to kind of pick what we get and uh, really organize it and basically take his hobby to the next level, uh, which will be a lot of fun. So let's see. Does Love Diesel have an email? So I do have an email, Evan. Uh, you guys can contact me whenever you need to. Uh, my email is rob at flipaquatics.com. Just R O B at F L I P A Q U A T I C S dot com. And uh, feel free to email me whenever. Um, but yeah, so that's what we have going on. Uh, Evan Roll says, You or Fish Nerd should make a Discord so all the fish people can talk about fish things and ask questions and share tanks and such. This community is so great and it would be amazing. So, Evan, I completely agree. This community is awesome. The fish fam slash shrimp fam. Um, you guys are just absolutely incredible. Uh, it's been a blessing to be a part of you and are a part of the community. And I know Corey was talking about doing something uh, in his live stream yesterday. And he was talking about, if you guys don't watch Corey of Aquarium Co-op, I definitely recommend checking him out. Uh, but he was talking about Patreon. And I, I personally don't have a Patreon. But I thought his idea was so cool because I feel like it would support so many other YouTubers and so many young YouTubers and things like that. Um, basically, what Patreon is is you you – basically give a certain amount like let's say you want to give five dollars to someone per month then they're making videos and you're supporting them so you're helping them you know get audio equipment or whatever it would be or cameras or something and usually they have different levels so if you give ten dollars you get a high five if you give twenty five dollars a month then you get a hug like it's like they have all these different crazy levels um but he had this idea where you could only accept one dollar giving 
um, which is like, you know, you go to their Patreon and you can only accept $1 per month. So that's the most someone could give you. And so the cool idea behind it is he would encourage or everyone that would be a part of it would encourage to select three YouTubers that you're going to support. And it's $3 a month. And I know that not all of us have $3 a month, but I do know that a vast majority of people in the world could afford to give up $3 a month. And you would pick, um, you know, your three favorite YouTubers or three younger YouTubers that you really want to support. And if you just think of like people like Flint's Fish Forum um, or Stormy Mist or something like that, like if you think of these young YouTubers that they are trying so hard and they're working so effortlessly and they're relying on ads on their videos, um, they're only making, you know, very, very little, uh, maybe $25 a month, you know, $100 a month that they were just killing it. But if they have a Patreon where, um, you know, a bigger channel like my channel or a bigger channel like Corey's channel or something like that where they are encouraging you to go check out these 10 people that are involved in this $1 thing and you pick three of them and one of those or two of those happen to be like these little YouTubers that are really trying to make a go at it and, uh, and they get, you know, a thousand people or 200 people, you know, whatever it was, even if it's a hundred people, a hundred dollars a month is going to drastically change a young channel a hundred percent. And I know back like even a year ago, like if someone was like, Oh, we're going to give you a hundred dollars a month for making YouTube videos. I would have been like, that's ridiculous. Like I could do this. I could do that. And, um, it's just, I think it's such a cool idea because it really like brings our community together because, the people that are involved are the ones that are like, hey, like you need to go check out this channel and this channel and this channel. And I know some people get burnt out on this, but I think it's such a cool principle is where we are a community. We are the YouTube fish community. We, we are all together. And if you know one of us, then eventually you're going to know all of us because we're all working together. And there's this family behind YouTube um, that we all hang out like. You know, there, there's tons of us. There's Shashimi Whiskey. There's Steam Fod. There's Aqua Pros. There's, um, you know, Aquarium Co-op. There's Joey. There's Rachel. There's Dustin. Like, there's so many people. Uh, KG Tropicals. Like, the list goes on and on and on. And I'm sorry if I missed anybody, but it is just so cool to really, really support people and uh, and really encourage each other and be able to build each other up. I know I would gladly give one dollar to you know ten or twenty channels just to like get the ball rolling. And I know Corey would feel the same way. I'm, I'm sure Steam Fod would feel the same way. I'm sure Dustin or Joey or Rachel, I'm sure all of them would feel the same way. And so if, uh, if we can start bringing that together, I think it would be a really, really, really cool thing. So anyway, that's my little spiel on that. Um, let's see what everyone's saying. Uh, Robert Merle said, at Flip Aquatics, hi, Rob, I think the mono shrimp are on the way back to you. Uh, so... Robert Merle had a tough go at it. Uh, he placed an order for a mono shrimp. I want to say we shipped him on Monday, and he got a hold of me on like Thursday and said, "Hey, the shrimp haven't made it yet. I don't know where they're at. There must have been a mix up." And so we personally haven't seen them yet and don't know where they're at or what they're doing. Uh, but apparently they're on the way back to us. Um, the good thing is a mono shrimp are one of the hardiest shrimp in the world. Like they they are bulletproof. So. Um, if anyone is going to survive, it's going to be a mono shrimp. So Robert Murrow, hopefully they survive. If not, we'll we'll make it right one way or the other. Um, you're just a great guy. You've supported us for a long time. So we definitely won't leave you hanging. Don't worry. Um, Ruben says, what is a good type of shrimp for a 5.5-gallon betta tank? I also have a 30-gallon. It's my angelfish tank. What can I add to it? So 5.5-gallon uh, betta tank. Um, I would say you can add a mono shrimp to that. They, they're pretty big. They can hold their own. Um, as long as you have like a little lip on the top because a mono shrimp will crawl out. Um, betta fish shouldn't really bother them and, uh, and they should be fine in there. Really, most shrimp can go in with a betta, but you have to do it the right way. And so um, I need to do some more experimenting before I start suggesting a way to do it, but I will get there and I will share my knowledge with you guys. Um, but that's that. A 30 gallon with angelfish, you will probably have a hard time adding shrimp to that. Um, but if you have a lot of plants, then they most likely will do just fine. Now, if your angelfish are breeding, um, everything is going to die. And and by the way, this is green tea. Uh, it has honey in it. The I, I was getting antsy and peeled the label off. So I don't want you guys thinking like, oh, what's Rob drinking without a label on it? 
I'm not that classy where I can't have labels in a video. <laughs> it, would, it would be funny if I got to that point. <laughs> um, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, Vinod said, inspired by your channel, I am going to turn my one meter long, 60 centimeters high, 45 centimeters wide, wow, into a shrimp, uh, into a shrimp small fish tank. I will have two Madden filters, either end, pool filter stand, but with plants and pots. So sounds like a great, great idea. Um, the only thing that I would recommend, if you're going to do pool filter sand, um, sometimes it compacts really hard on roots and the plants don't really do well. So if you're doing the plants in pots, like you said, um, I'm not sure if they're like the pots they come in where you burrow or put them down in the substrate. But if they're the clay pots that are above the substrate, you're plenty good. Um, Lisa said, Rob, what is your favorite shrimp? Uh, so I get that question decently and up until this point, it's always been Royal Blues and there's a long story about that uh, Me and my wife met because of my Royal Blues. So that's kind of cool But Royal Blues just always had this special place in my heart just because they were the first shrimp that like really like helped my business get started um, Really helped grow this YouTube channel. They just they had such an impact on my life being completely honest not just saying it just to say it or be dramatic but Royal Blues will probably always be my favorite shrimp. Um, but if I'm just talking about like what's my favorite shrimp right now, like if I could go watch any shrimp in my whole entire warehouse or any shrimp out there, my absolute favorite right now are bamboo shrimp. They are so stinking cool. First of all, they're huge. They're literally like, like let me put it next to my face. Like they're big. They're probably a good four, six inches. Um, and they are filter feeders. So they have these huge like, think of them as, um, baseball mitts like they're these huge things and they just like suck in food suck in food and they just stick the whole thing in their mouth you know clean it off with all the food particles and they're just so intriguing like absolutely love them and so those would be my like favorite at the moment <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got going on jordan leroy says can we get a brief talk on the nano fish tonight um so yeah so what Jordan, what do you specifically want to know about the nanofish? And if you guys are just tuning in and wondering what this new, um, real quick, Nick K Aquatic says, "Hey Rob, congrats on the sub count building up so fast. Yeah, we we have been growing, which is awesome. Um, it's been a, uh, a blessing uh, to get so many new subscribers, so many more people following the channel." And uh, being a part of the community. So it really, really has been awesome. Big Shrimp says, what's up, Big Rob? Caught you live. Glad you caught us live. Uh, Big Shrimp, and good to be, or good to have you here. Bruce Willis Jr. says, what product is best for molting? Um, so if you're having failed molts, uh, the best product that we use is Shrimp King Mineral. Um, you can also increase your general hardness, uh, which is a lot to do with calcium. And so you can buy a product called Salty Shrimp GH+. Plus. And uh, you can increase that GH, which stands for general hardness again, and uh, that should really help. But Jordan Leroy, let me know what type of nano fish you want me to talk about tonight, and uh, and I will definitely give my little spiel. Um, what else we got going on? <laughs> Trash Queen says, can a male betta show aggression to cherry shrimp in a 10-gallon, and how much would you pay for them? I need to know. So... It depends, Trash Queen. Um, a male betta will probably definitely show aggression, aggression to shrimp unless added in a perfect way to where they're just used to being in the same tank together. Um, how much would you pay for uh, cherry shrimp? So, uh, for example, on our website, we sell them for $3 a piece, and that's both USA bread and imported, uh, both when we sell for $3. And so I would say if you're getting them for any less than $3, then you're doing really good. Um, but anything like if you're paying five dollars a piece, I would say that's a little pricey. Um, but again, if it's your local pet store, I definitely encourage you to support them. And uh, and if they're five dollars a piece, then maybe it's worth it because it's keeping a pet store open, uh, which they are the backbone of this hobby. And uh, and I hate to see them close. So, uh, fanatics aquatics says, Hey Rob, missed the streams lately. I'm in the flip aquatics contest. Is wondering if it's too late to add some neocaridina into the contest. Uh, so if you're already involved in it, then you can definitely add to it. Um, we definitely love to get more involvement and more types of shrimp so that we can kind of monitor how everyone's doing with their shrimp 
And so definitely for sure you can add more. Um, I know we're really cracking down. This is the first month that we're really like cracking down um, because we're only going through December and then we're drawing the $250 winners. And so we really got to crack down and make sure everyone's on the same page. So that's what Jeff has been working really hard this week to get that going. And, uh, and I'm going to get more and more involved as the weeks continue. I need to enter my tank. I haven't entered my tank yet. I'm doing the yellow King Kongs, by the way. They are looking fantastic. And they're breeding like crazy. So I have the benefit. I can I can see how the shrimp are doing and then pick. So I, I won't win, but I'll still be in the contest. I, I definitely won't take the winning. But you guys will probably beat me anyway. Um, Life with Pets says, did I miss the announcement? So the announcement is we are adding nano fish to flip aquatic so the reason we are doing this is one jeff the guy that works for us absolutely loves fish and so i really want to keep him involved and him happy and and really enjoying what he's doing so that's one reason the other reason is me and amanda absolutely love nano fish and we really want to start educating people on which fish can go with shrimp and different things like that and kind of do some videos for that and kind of show the right way to add fish to a shrimp tank and the wrong way and what fish can't have shrimp, what fish can. And so different things like that we're really going to start experimenting with and sharing results with you guys and educating. And so that's another reason we're, we're carrying nano fish. And we just enjoy it. Like, why not? And so we're adding nano fish. We're adding uh, fish food to the website. So there's a lot of new things to be coming to the website soon. Um, but the nano fish probably will not be added for – um, well, at least a month because we haven't got a man. We need to quarantine them still. Um, so it'll probably be a month, month and a half until they're actually on the website. Um, maybe it'll be a little bit sooner for pre-order and things like that. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions on a, what type of uh, nano fish you want to get, please let us know because um, basically it's what you guys want. I'm going to get what I want first and then just see how it goes because I got to enjoy it too. So that's the big announcement. Uh, the other thing was we are running a shrimp special this, this month. Uh, we try to do a shrimp special um, every live stream. Not necessarily a shrimp special, but like a special on the website if you guys are interested in. like I'm sure since we're carrying Northfin food, we'll probably do a special on them uh, next month or we'll do a special on the new Caradina shrimp we're adding to the website next weekend. Um, and I meant next weekend, not next month. And then do Northfin after that. So we're going to constantly be um, – as we add new products, as we add new livestock, different things like that, we'll we'll continue to do different special on them. But the special this week, uh, we are doing a free Shrimp King product, which is $19.99 or whatever. Um, and that's with any single um, shrimp starter pack that is purchased. And so if you guys want to get cherry shrimp, like let's say you've never had shrimp before, and you want to order 20 cherry shrimp, then you can get a shrimp starter pack. Uh, I think they're $55. They come with the net. They come with leaves. They come with food. They come with the shrimp, and then you get a free Shrimp King complete, like, full food, like the one you see right there. That's Shrimp King complete. It's our favorite food. But there's a lot of good options out there. So it gives people an opportunity to try an amazing food that we've had some great success with. Uh, Jordan Leroy said, get some uh, – somebody correct me on this. Get some Choya wood in there with the beta. That way the shrimp can hide. Choya wood – is absolutely phenomenal for shrimp to hide in. It's got a lot of like little holes in it, and uh, the shrimp can get in there and kind of get away from any predators, and they feel a lot more secure. Evan Roll said, "Mate, so are you gonna make a Discord?" So I gotta look at what a Discord is. Let's see right here. I, I'm being completely honest. I, I do not know what a Discord is. So a Discord, a free voice slash text chat. For gamers is what it says. But so it's just a platform to talk. Um, I don't know. So I'm not going to make it. But if someone did make it, that would be absolutely awesome. So Gary the Hut just dropped a two dollar super chat. Um, he said, "I have some. I have some black endlers. Want some? I love endlers. I I am a big fan of endlers. Um, so I would definitely take some." Um, oh, DT Aquarium says, Rob, still no pictures. I'm going to get on Amanda right now. She's downstairs sleeping. I'm going to go wake her up after the live chat. After the live stream, I mean. Um, Gary the Hut, though, um, thank you so much for the super chat. 
And just coming back to the conversation we had earlier about uh, Corey and Patreon is like Gary doing a $2 super chat. That is the same as him supporting two YouTubers for a whole month. And so it's a kind of a cool principle. If you guys missed that, check out Corey. Um, it was actually on Jimmy of Aquarium Co-op, their live stream. Um, so check that out. They just did it yesterday. Um, it was a really, really great idea. And basically what it comes down to is like um, the fees that YouTube takes is much higher than the fees that uh, Patreon takes. And so I think Patreon's like 7%, whereas uh, YouTube's a lot more than that. Now granted, they add a huge value, so you can't take that away from them. Um, but it would just be so cool if we could get people on board uh, to support multiple YouTubers. And so like give them a dollar a month. And if you guys missed this whole conversation, I won't go in depth with it again, but it was like, let's go. So if you wanna rewind and watch that part, you, you get caught up on uh, what we're talking about. But thank you so much, Gary, for the super chat, and and I would definitely love some uh, some black antlers. Uh, DK fish, <laughs> fish hooks, Aqua Teen, Aqua Teen Racing. Jeez, uh, Chili Razboras. I hope I hope that's on the list. So Chili Razboras, hundred percent on the list. You actually said chilling Razboras, um, which maybe you just meant Razboras in general. I'm not sure, but Razboras are definitely going to be on the list. Uh, Charlie Matthew says, do you ship to the UK? Uh, we do not, unfortunately. Uh, James Davis says, Rob, love your channel. Once I get my rack built, I will order from you. So James, thank you so much. Uh, we definitely appreciate uh, any and all support that you guys give us. You know, you guys right here, you all, you are the ones that love our channel, that are faithful subscribers. Um, you guys are the ones, like, if you're going to watch a live stream, it means you probably really enjoy watching our channel and so you guys are the reason that we get to do what we love really plain and simple that is the reason why so thank you and uh thank you guys for your support reverend ryan bob Givens, uh sell shelly's and killies so jeff is a huge fan of both shelly's and killies and so he would be completely fine with that i definitely want to do odo sinkless um i want to do uh, rasboras and tetras and uh, some small corridors and so we're gonna get a good mix of everything I'm hoping and uh, hopefully uh, his family breeds a lot too so hopefully we can kind of make a little deal where I sell their stuff for them and we can get some really really pretty um, killy fish because they they breed some awesome stuff and they're always having too much and then stop breeding them because of it uh, Rylands uh, aquarium says you should get daisy blue rice fish let me write that down i i have not heard of them daisy blue rice fish so i will look those up and see if we're even able to get them in um, because they're limited on what they can sell um karen says can you put pea puffers in wish trim so right now the answer is no uh they're they're mean little suckers but I will do an experiment eventually and I will share my results with you and then I will know for sure. So right now I'm just going based off secondhand information, not firsthand. Um, but in theory, no, like you shouldn't keep them together. Rob, I'm looking for blue shadow pandas, Kent cats. So Kent, we actually got a bunch of blue shadow pandas in. The only problem is they weren't very blue. So we're waiting and seeing if they color up better. Um, over the course of the next week. Um, I personally haven't checked on them for like a week <laughs> and we've only had the import for like a week and a half. Uh, Mina and Jeff mainly take care of their rooms and so I don't get to see that room too often. Um, but when I do, when I last looked at them, they weren't as blue as I would have liked. So I'm not sure yet if we're gonna sell them as shadow pandas or blue shadow pandas, but we definitely do have them and we did import them in. Um, let's see what else we got. Evan Roll said, I would so make that for you, my mate. <laughs> I love it. I hope you're from Australia. Uh, Charlie Matthews says, I have pea puffers, a mono shrimp, and a moored shrimp, and they didn't bother them one bit. So Charlie Matthews actually says that pea puffers will not affect the shrimp, um, which is a good thing. Stephen Wong says, Flip, huge fan. Place an order on your site, number 1460 for 10 Malaysian trumpet snails. That is awesome. Steven, thank you so much. Uh, thank you not only for being a fan, but thank you for the order. Um, again, 
you guys, the like the orders, the super chats, all that stuff, uh, that is the reason we're able to do what we love. So thank you for that, Stephen. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hate how YouTube does this. Whenever you scroll down, it automatically jumps to the bottom. Uh, KT says, "Fancy tigers breed true." What is the offspring? Crystal and tiger. So KTs, um, they definitely any mixed genetics will not breed true. Um, at least not completely true. And um, so no, they will not breed true. And yes, the offspring will probably be different grades of fancy tigers. Um, so some will look more like crystals, while some look more like tigers. And uh, and it eventually. Whew, oh, you knew that was coming. I think I yawn every time I live stream. I don't know why. Maybe this room, there's just lack of oxygen. <laughs> it causes me to yawn. Or maybe it's just because I'm tired when it gets to, what, 6.40 in the afternoon. I need a nap. <laughs> uh, Jim Meeker says, okay, I can buy everything for my tank from Flip Aquatics now. Yes. So you can officially almost buy, almost buy everything. So we still have to add little, little things. Um, but we're trying to add you know new products every single month and uh, that's our goal so far we've been able to do it uh, it'd be even nicer to add a new product every week um, that's the real goal but we haven't been able to do that yet uh, but yes definitely getting chili rasboras um king lee said i think he just pointed pointed at me <laughs> i don't know who king's talking about but if you're talking to me i'm pointing at you right now king um but yes fancy tigers do not breed completely true um, although most of the babies will be a type of fancy tiger. Uh, Stormy Mess said, do neon tetras, please. Um, so <laughs> please sell neon tetras. They are so hard to get healthy ones from a store or ship. Um, so we can try them. I'm not guaranteed that they'll do well. So like what we're going to do is we're going to try certain types of fish. Um, we're going to get X amount of them. We're going to ship them and see how they do. And if they do good, then we'll continue to get them. Um, we'll also see how they sell. If they're not selling at all, then we can't stock them um, because, after all, you can't just have um, just tanks of things just sitting there. Well, I guess technically you could, but as a business, you have to have things that people actually like to get. And so green neons for sure. I love the green neons. Um, can you please stock ruby tetras? I got to look up what a ruby tetra is. This is why I'm so excited because I've been out of fish for like literally three years. And so to be able to get fish in stock again and actually keep them, um, it's going to be extremely enjoyable. Uh, so I am very, very excited for it. Um, hey, I didn't even think about this. It is it is Sunday Night Football, and I got a bunch of you hanging out with me. So I'm competing with NFL football right now, and there's actually over 100 people watching. So that is an amazing thing. Um, thank you guys all again for for being here on your Sunday. Um, so, is anybody watching football currently? That I'm curious to know because I'm sure some of you are. Um, Glass boxes says, "Yeah, I really don't super chat now as so much goes to YouTube." Yeah, that's true. It is it is sad that um, so much goes to YouTube, but super chats really do help channels out. So it's still uh, extremely beneficial, especially to smaller channels. Um, that don't make very much on AdSense, uh, which is basically the advertisements you see in their videos. And so super chatting those guys, I definitely highly recommend. Um, you definitely don't have to super chat me, but I really, really do think the Patreon idea is a great idea. So Corey, if you're watching this, I think it's a great idea. I think you should pursue it, and I would gladly support you on that. We're out of tea. You know what that means. My voice is going to start hurting um, let's see what else we got. JC Tank says, at Flip Aquatics, here's a tip to you to make your channel successful. Always have a man in your videos. <laughs> that is so funny. I agree 100%. So I would, if a man was in every single video, you are 100% right. Um, it would do that much better. Uh, and she knows it too. She just is so embarrassed that she doesn't want to be in all the videos. I'm actually trying to convince her to make her own channel which I think would be really awesome. Um, I think she would really enjoy it. Uh, but it's just getting her there. Uh, Jimmy sent email. Um, I didn't need to yawn, but now I feel I must. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> That's funny, Roy. Rory. Rory. I think I said that right. Fish. Oh, so there's a lot of people watching. 
A lot of people don't like football, actually. Sunday football and football aquatics at the same time. Gemini has said that. Um, I'm wanting, I'm watching National Hockey League on this side. So there's some people, no football, I'm working. Sheesh, don't tell. That's funny. So a lot of people aren't watching football, which is surprising. But a lot of some people are. Some people are watching other things. Um, Tom and Moose says, when are you shipping to Canada? So we can ship to Canada, although we don't regularly do and the reason why is because it's so expensive um but if someone wanted us to ship to canada and was willing to pay more for shipping then we would most definitely do that but that's the reason we don't ship to canada on a regular basis um haba Hanum, <laughs> when i get a lot of comments on live broadcasts I, I respond the same for you to the individual skip it skip it is a bit difficult but is very enjoyable so I'm not 100 percent sure what that means i respond the same for you to the individual skip it it is a bit difficult i don't know but thank you thank you for commenting <laughs> um let's see jordan leroy says can we get an overview of what species of nano fish can go with shrimp and which would prey in the shrimp at least so jordan you're gonna have to wait on that um the ones that i would tell you for sure can go with shrimp because i've tested these ones um otosynclus for sure can go with shrimp um, i've kept them with shrimp before um you know can there be an occasional one that eats a baby sure but 99 percent of the time they will not mess with the babies or the shrimp they'll just kind of do their own thing i bred tons of shrimp in with otosynclus before um i keep celestial proteinias with shrimp um cordars pygmaeus i've kept with shrimp so there's quite a few that you can keep with shrimp uh, what else we got? Hey, Flip, I have very hard water with high pH, TDS, around 370. Any shrimp that would do okay here? And West, what's to avoid? So, oh, loaded question. So, shrimp that do good in hard water, if you have really, really, really hard water, I would recommend keeping... Um, most of your neocaridinas. Most of them will do completely fine in really hard water. Um, like you could have a TDS of 370 and they would do just fine. We get them in and they have a TDS of like 350. And that's their normal water. They have a GH off the charts, a cage off the charts. So you can keep them pretty much in liquid rock. Um, now any of the other shrimp, like the tigers, the crystals, the Taiwan bees, don't keep those. Um, you might be able to get away, depending on what your parameters are, you might be able to get away with uh, Caridina, like the Solowisi shrimp. Maybe. Um, it really depends. Some of them are pretty finicky and like pristine water. Uh, so we'll have, to, we'll have to do some more experimenting on that. Um, let's see. <laughs> Steamfot Aquatics, Seahawks 6. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people don't like football. That's really cool. I mean, that's interesting to know. I don't really like watching football, but I do have a fantasy league. And if I check on my fantasy league, I think I'm losing. Yes, I'm still losing. My QB did terrible today. And I just do fantasy football because I love my friends and I want to spend time with them. So that's the only reason I do it. But uh, definitely not doing good this season. But it's okay. So we'll get off that. Um, football, it's preseason hockey right now in Canada. That's awesome. Canadians love their hockey. But back on track, um, again, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, to kind of give you a rundown of this weekend. So uh, basically through tomorrow night, we're having that special going uh, with the free Shrimp King, and that's all down below. Um, definitely feel free to take advantage of that uh, and try some different Shrimp King foods out. Um, and that's going to end Monday night. And then Tuesday, we're coming out with the Caradina room video, uh, which is kind of showing the new stuff that we got and how it's doing. And uh, I'm probably going to shoot that tomorrow. And then, so that will be a good video. You can see kind of some of our expensive shrimp that we got in and uh, different things like that. And then we'll be adding all of those shrimp to the website for pre sale when that video comes out. And, um, you know, we got in like purple zebra shrimp, you know, we got in different types of pintos, galaxy pintos, $500 purple shrimp. It's crazy. I know um, those big bamboo shrimp. So there's a lot of different stuff that we got in uh, that will be coming out on Tuesday. 
And then next weekend, we'll probably run a special on the North Fin food that we got in. Um, if anyone's interested in that and uh, just kind of see how it all goes. And so we're continuously growing and changing and moving forward and trying different things. And uh, it's just, it's good. The other big thing is next weekend, what's it called? Cataclysm uh, is going on. A lot of my good friends are going. A lot of my good friends are actually speaking at it. Uh, Charlie M Mueller, Jeremy Bosch, Eric Bodrock. Um, three of the like six speakers are really close friends of mine. Um, so if you guys are watching, I hope you do really good and best of luck. Um, so definitely encourage you guys to go check out Cataclysm, uh, which is next weekend in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, the other big thing coming up is the Aquatic Experience, where we are having a YouTube booth and Flip Aquatics is having a booth. So it's actually, we have a double booth. It's the YouTube booth. It's my booth. And then across the little um, divider is going to be Dustin's booth. And so we're going to have like the little YouTube corner, uh, which is going to be really cool. And so I'm really excited for that. Um, if you guys have never been to the Aquatic Experience, come check that out. Um, it will be really great. Evan Roll says, where do you guys get your shrimp? So I get my shrimp. I import them from Selene. Um, but uh, you can get my shrimp off flipaquatics.com. Um, there's also a lot of great hobbyists on the webs or on different websites, uh, forums. You can get them from there. Um, there's some great breeders in the country. So there's a lot of different places you can get them from. Obviously, I encourage you to get them from Flip Aquatics because I know those ones are healthy where I can't vouch for everyone else. Um, but Definitely feel free to get them from wherever. Um, if you're in the UK, then I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what else. Eric B's Aquarium says, love the shirt. Attended my second meeting at Youngstown Society and plan to join next month. Eric, that's awesome. So I missed this week's talk because it was Amanda's birthday. Uh, shout out to my wife. It was her birthday on Friday. And Charlie Mueller, my really, really good friend, um, just a very, very knowledgeable guy, was speaking um, this past Friday in Youngstown. And this is the actual YATFS shirt, which stands for Youngstown Area Tropical Fish Society. And uh, they're just a great club. They're right down the road for me. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to make it to too many meetings. Um, but yeah, so they're an awesome group. So Eric, I'll look forward to seeing you there next time I make it. Hopefully you'll be there. But anyway, uh, this week, what do we have going on this week? We have a ton going on, I think. Um, one, I bought all that Java moss today at the auction. Overpaid for it. $52, of course. Ugh. But I needed it. I need to set up some more tanks with Java moss to get more growing out because we are always running out. Um, what else am I doing? Uh, tomorrow is our shipping day, so Mondays are always crazy for us. And we're also doing a lot of big water changes. I'm probably going to shoot that Caradina video tomorrow. Um, I'll probably do a video on the nano fish setup. Um, I don't know yet if we're going to grow plants in there too. I'm thinking we will, but I'm going to ask Jeff and kind of talk to him and get uh, his opinion. Um, Ryland's Aquarium says, Rod, did you find out what type of Anubius that was? I did not. I'm sorry. I always have so much going on. I forget um, a lot. Like If I don't do it in the moment, I usually forget, which is uh, not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Um, Stormy Miss says, I want to go to the quad experience, but I can't drive. Stormy, you got it. Emma, you have to convince your parents to take you. Tell them it's going to be beneficial. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to meet a lot of people. Tell them it will be a good getaway for them. You'll kind of do your own thing. Let your parents do their own thing. Um, you can definitely convince them for sure. Uh, Ricard Rock says, I'm going to get Denerla shrimp red with white dots. Um so those are called, um, oh, what are they called? Cardinal or Cardinals, maybe? Soluisi Cardinals. I think that's what they're called. Um, you know anything about them? I would set up the tank one month in advance. I know what they need, but any tips uh, if you or anyone have them? So I've kept them before, and I killed them by getting wild caught and mixing them in with my captive bred ones and killed them all. Not a good decision, uh, but... I've, I've learned since then. Uh, what I would say is Chris Lukup has a great video on their natural habitat. Uh, he actually tested their water there and knows exactly where they come from. And so I would encourage you to find that video and watch it. 
Um, but I do know they like semi hard water. They like a higher pH. And so to, to get things like that would be beneficial. Uh, JC's tank says off topic question. How many shrimp do you have in total? So I would say in total, we probably have between 20 and 25,000 shrimp at our warehouse, probably more including babies. I don't really include babies. Those are like, if I had to sell all the shrimp, we'd probably have 20 to 25,000. Um, if you include babies, it's probably a significant amount more, but not all those babies will live. That's the thing. And so that's why I never include them, but that's how many we have now. How many types of shrimp do we have for sale? Probably 15 to 20, something like that. I've never actually counted to be completely honest. Evan Rose says, I hope once you get enough money uh, from this, you can take the camera wherever you, wherever, when you stream. Take the camera where, wherever when you stream. Yeah, so that would be cool. So um, eventually it would be nice to have nice enough internet where I can stream completely from the warehouse and do it upright and have live webcams going and things like that. But all that stuff will come in time. It's It will all get there eventually. Um, Mr. R.C says, I was surprised how good uh, Maidenhan, Maidhead, were to be honest, my local one is in a not cuts garden center, so I didn't expect much. I don't know what that is, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Charlie Matthews says, "Oh my God, that is the one I I go to." I don't know. You guys must be talking about something I I missed. Um, Vinod said, "Speaking of water changes, can you run a drip system on a 75 gallon shrimp tank with an overflow to attain 25 gallon water change per month?" Uh, so if you're doing a drip system, I would actually do more. I would probably do, um, you know, 10% per day dripping in because it's only going to equate to like a 5% water change. And just dripping in, it's going to be fine. Uh, you definitely won't shut the shrimp. B. St. John. What's going on, Marcus? He said, hello, all. It's about time he goes live. Um, so if you guys don't know, B. St. John, which is a moderator, his name's in blue. Um, he is Mark in my videos, and uh, he's like – He's the one that does all the building projects for me, um, handles like uh, the water change system, the air system. Like he does all that detailed stuff now, and he, he's really good at it. Uh, Donna Kate. Well, let me say uh, Rich. I don't, okay. Donna Kate Morgan says, lemon tetras, blue tetras, and live bears, fish that go with shrimp. So, yes, I definitely will keep those. Um, Ken Cass says, do have blue shadow pandas i'm looking for them we do have them although i'm not completely happy with the blue color on them um story misses where is the aquatic experience it's in chicago oh my throat's killing me um mr r dot said you should check out black venezuelan cory so i think i know what you're talking about but i will check into them cory and then i'll let you know what else we got? Uh, it's a bad connection for me, so that's not a good thing. Uh, it's a good connection on my end, so I'm not sure. Um, hopefully it gets better. Uh, Ruben says, I need plants for my 30-gallon. What is a great plant, uh, like a background plant? Uh, so you're asking the wrong person, uh, but if I had to tell you any Rotala is going to be a good background plant, most stem plants will be good background plants. Um, you can use Amazon Swords as background plants. You can use... Java fern, any type of fern, or not any type of fern, but Java fern and things like that, you can. Um, I'm not Java fern. What am I talking about? I didn't mean ferns. I'm sorry. I'm talking about Valcinaria. That's what I meant to say. Jeez. Uh, but, yeah, definitely do that. Emma, it's in Chicago. Yep, people are answering you. J JW Aquariums, close to 400 subscribers. Congratulations. Dan C said, how many shrimp will you give? me if I come wire the warehouse so if you come wire the warehouse well you do know I'm an electrician so probably not too many but if you come and hang out for a day and help around the warehouse I'll definitely give you some shrimp uh, JC tank says flip wow I think we've just found the new shrimp God <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I'm the shrimp God uh, I definitely love shrimp though let's see Jim Meeker said, 100 people watching. Yeah, we we have 108 at the moment. 
Um, so definitely a lot of people for a Sunday when football is going on. Um, Nisi's giving all the information for the aquatic experience. I'll have a video coming out about the aquatic experience soon as well. Um, but yeah, so looks like we're all caught up. Uh, Evan Roll says, will green quarry cats be okay with ghost shrimp, Rob? Um, so you can try it. Uh, most quarries will be okay with shrimp. They'll probably eat shrimp babies, to be completely honest. Again. Oh, back to yawning. <laughs> I, I, I'm curious how many people yawn because I yawn. That, that would be funny to know. Because usually it's a, it's a chain reaction whenever you see someone yawn. Oh, Nisi. Nisi's messaging while she's driving. Tiss, tiss. Uh, but yeah, Evan, you can give it a try. Uh, Sam Moo said, <laughs> Sam Moo, that's funny. Plan on starting a new shrimp tank soon, but not sure which type of shrimp to pick. I have an arrow down to Orange Relly, really Bloody Mary, and Blue Velvet. What would you personally choose between the three? I would personally choose Bloody Mary because I absolutely love the coloration on Bloody Marys. Absolutely, 100%, that's what I would choose. Um, second favorite would be Orange Relly. Really. But they tend to get a lot of uh, bacterial infections and don't do as well. And then blue velvet would be last. And that's just because most blue velvets don't have great color. Um, but some really, really do. Evan Rolls says, are you in Ohio? I am in Ohio. I'm actually located in Warren, Ohio, which is near Youngstown, Ohio, if you're familiar with that. Uh, but it's northeastern Ohio. B. St. John said, I love this shirt. Yeah, word to the auction today. There was a, there was a lot of people in their red shirts today. Uh, ben Griffith says, was there a repair site on your wild-caught um, cardinals? Uh, do you figure out what actually kills them? Um, so I didn't get any cardinals in, but we did get some pair. Or when I originally got the cardinals. No, I didn't get any parasites in. Um, but I, did, I do get parasites with the neocaridina, but that just comes with the territory. Uh, they always... They always have parasites, unfortunately. Uh, Ken Katz, can I buy your blue shadow painters? I will email you. Send us an email. I will gladly sell you some, and I'll send you a picture of them too so you know exactly what they look like. Uh, Mark, the auction was okay. Um, things were selling high, so it was a good auction to sell things at. Uh, unfortunately, I spent a lot on Java Moss, so uh, not too thrilled about that, but it's all good. Um, Gary the Hut said, just found brown worms on shrimp. Well, that doesn't sound like a good thing. So any brown worms I've ever seen on shrimp are most of the time parasites and they're internal parasites. And when they, you actually see them when they start coming out of the shrimp. Um, so usually um, dewormers, like dog dewormers, things like that. I use fen, uh, fenbendazole uh, to kill all those and usually it'll wipe them all out before sending them out. So if you are starting to see parasites, um, definitely treat your whole tank because they could pass through the poop and your other shrimp could get it as well. So I would treat it with fenbendazole. Um, it's Panicure C you can get on Amazon. Um, definitely try using that. Uh, but that's what I would recommend. But sorry to hear that, Gary. Uh, that's never a good thing. But Jordan Leroy said, finally got the blue velvets I was talking about for ages. Ended up with blue topaz from a guy in my fish club. Have some parried females in all my tanks. That's awesome. Um, blue topaz, I'm guessing, a really nice blue. And so uh, so that's always good. Uh, Liz said, hey, Rob, I actually have a monitor with pea puffers. Definitely the exception. So that is great to hear. So a mono shrimp and pea puffers can be kept in the same tank. Now, I'm going to test that for myself and actually show you guys on video. And so, uh, so we'll see. Uh, James Woodward said, stop, you're making me yawn. Uh, I'm sure I was definitely giving a lot of people some yawns. Um, it's definitely not planaria. It's definitely not vorticilla or scuderilia, anything like that. It is definitely probably a parasite, an internal parasite. But, um, yeah, so, uh, again, we're running a special today. If you guys are interested in shrimp starter pack, which comes with shrimp, shrimp food, leaves, uh, a net, and if you're interested in that, we're giving away a free – uh, shrimp king food whichever type you want to choose on the website all you have to do is use the coupon code down below it's free sk and you add any type of shrimp king food that you would like and uh, you guys are more than willing to check that out uh, but that's going to run through monday night at 12 
or 12 p.m. Uh, PST, and so Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. Um, so that's going to be going on. But, you guys, I got to take off. I got to go spend some time with the wife for a little bit, and then I'm going to hang out with the guys again. We're going to play some games again tonight. Uh, we did that last week. But so much love to you guys. Thank you guys for spending your Sunday night with me uh, instead of watching football or anything else that you could be doing. Uh, it's always good to catch up. Much love from this side of the camera. You guys have a great rest of your week or a great beginning of your week, and I'll talk with you guys soon. Later, guys.